Hello everybody! Fade Boy here. Welcome or welcome back to another video guys. In this video, this is probably gonna be one of my longest videos. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how to prepare for business, guys. So guys, um you wanna start off by obviously defeating your coconut crab guys. Why? Because coconut crabs give the various of loot, for example, microconverters, uh, glues. Um, tropical drinks and stuff like that and if you don't already have coconut bag this will help a ton so make sure you guys kill your coconut crab okay guys now once you guys have done that guys now you guys want to move on to doing bug runs guys bug runs helps a lot with materials and other things so you can craft and be ready for business and yeah so make sure you guys do your bug run if you can make sure you have baby lovers love baby love as well so it gives you better loot it's very important you guys do a lot of bug runs before business so you can actually increase your materials and stuff that's why it's very good to macro so if you can macro make sure you guys macro as well if you can't not to worry it's fine all right the next thing you guys want to do you guys want to move on to your king b tool and then you guys kill it and get the loot then you guys move on to tunnel bear i've already killed mine so yeah i can't really kill them again all right now the next thing guys is actually doing your quest guys just try to do as much quests as you can today because like um, it depends on when you're watching this video, but business will be out like tomorrow or maybe the day after. So yeah, it's important you guys achieve as much quests as you can and turn them in. Now another way guys is actually, I know this sounds very dumb, but it's actually breaking every sprout that spawns. I know that sounds very bad and not efficient or anything, but trust me guys, it helps out a ton later on guys, trust me. Breaking every sprout is very good guys, it gives you lots of materials, trust me. As you can see guys, I just got a glitter. Literally just got a glitter from a free sprout, literally. Okay guys, now the next thing guys, is actually meteor shower. I can't spawn my meteor shower because I spawned it yesterday. But uh, make sure you guys are doing your meteor shower daily. They're really helpful for tickets and other things. Alright, now spirit bear guys. I know there's a lot of mid gamers that are, are subscribed to me right now. So guys, if you guys are stuck on Spirit Bear, make sure you guys grind it. Grind as much as you can. Please try and finish it guys, if you guys can. Just do as much as you can. Now, the next thing guys, is that is memory matches. Memory matches is actually very useful for actually gaining some materials really fast. Which is pretty cool as well. As you can see, I just got a stinger. And I'm gonna get a tropical drink right here. Let's see. And I got a treat as well. So yeah, make sure you guys do your memory matches as well. By the way, by memory matches, I mean like all four of them, including the night memory match if you can get that. Okay, now, very important guys, claim your daily glue dispenser guys. Please, make sure you guys claim your daily glue dispenser. And whilst you're inside of here, collect this enzyme if you haven't already. And also, collect this star jelly if you guys haven't already. I'm sure most of you guys have already done that, but I'm just covering every single way on how to get prepared for business. Now, another thing guys, is spawning the windy bee guys windy bee helps a, l a lot with tickets and also you can even get like a few star jellies from it as well if you're lucky and yeah to spawn the windy bee you'll need a star jelly um if you can't afford a star jelly you can maybe use a glue or glitter i don't recommend it though but yeah once you guys spawn it just kill it as many times as you guys can doesn't matter if you can't really do much by yourself but just just try and do as much damage get as much loot as you possibly can from this Okay guys, once you guys done Windy Bee and you're quite satisfied with what you got and the Windy Bee timer ends, I can't be bothered to finish mine. You guys actually want to prepare your planters guys and nectars. If you guys are not able to like macro and you're not able to get like um like 24 hours of nectars, that's fine. But if you macro, try and get yourself 24 hours ne of nectar before business comes out. So that when business is out, you'll have like a lot of nectar and you'll be prepared. As I say, if you can't macro, um, try and grow your planters to maximum and save them for business because in business there will be dapper bear quest. So if you guys could save your planters for business before the update comes out, like just prepare your planters, then that would be good. It'll put you at a head start with dapper bear's quest. Alright, now guys, stick bug. Yes. I know stick bug isn't all that fun guys, but if you guys could get a few of your friends to help you with stick bug and do stick bug that would be very good guys because stick bug gives a lot of loot i know you guys don't really like stick bug that much but stick bug it gives insane loot so if you guys could do like at least two to three stick bug like today or tomorrow that would be very good but yeah 
But I would say do it today because the update most likely will be tomorrow. Dep as I said, depends on when you're watching this video. Now, another way, guys, that you guys can get prepared is actually killing your snail. I know this takes really long, but it's worth it, guys. The loot is absolutely worth it. So if it takes you like, even if it takes you like five hours to do, just get grab your auto clicker, stand AFK, do some real life stuff or watch YouTube, you know anything just try and kill your snow guys very important the next thing is guys making sure that you guys actually got good planters because in business that per best quest um will require some good planters and stuff all right guys now ants the most underrated thing guys ants is very good for like fruits and and stuff so you can later on craft the materials so if you guys really need some materials materials i definitely recommend ants guys I know, I know it's kind of long and stuff, but it's worth it in the end because it'll give you some materials. The next thing, guys, is actually doing Riley and Buckleby quests so you guys can get red and blue extracts. The more extracts you guys can get, the better it will be for you guys. Now, guys, polar power is gonna be kind of important in Beesmus update because when it comes on to Dapper Bear quest, he's gonna be mostly telling you to claim your planters and get like nectars from it. So um to actually grow your plants as faster you would actually need a lot of polar power i would say try and grind around 200 to 300 polar pow power quests if you can i know it's not really possible to get that much in a day but just grind as much as you guys can because the more polar power the faster your planters grow the faster your planters grow easier um diaper bear will be for you guys now the next thing guys um do mondo chick every hour you never know you guys could probably get like a mythic egg or something if you guys are very lucky so yeah, if you can do um, Mondu every hour, you can even get yourself a star treat as well. You can get some star jellies and some other good loot. Alright guys, I never really got anything good from this Mondu. But it's alright guys, as I say, if you can do Mondu every single hour guys, you may actually be able to get a star treat or mythic egg. I know it's very rare, but you know, it's worth the chance. It's worth the chance. Plus you get a bit of berries, treats and stuff like that. It's worth the try guys. Now another thing to actually, another way to actually get prepared for Beesmus is actually killing vicious bees. I know I just killed one, I should have talked about it before. But yeah, make sure you guys are killing vicious bees as well. Because stingers are important when to get Supreme Star in it. Like if you wanna be red or white, you'll need um stingers. It, well it depends what amulet you wanna be as a white hive. I'm personally gummy shower, but there's something called Star Saw. If you guys have that, you need stingers to actually activate and boost with. So yeah, make sure you guys get a bunch of stingers. Now, another way, guys, is actually doing sparkles and the nighttime fireflies and stuff, guys. They can give um glitters and other things if you're lucky. And yeah, as I said, guys, break every sprout. There's a moon sprout right here. I'm coming straight to break that, guys. Because I've been doing breaking every sprout, guys. I've actually gone a lot of moon charms. So yeah, make sure you guys are. Breaking as much sprouts as you guys can. Alright guys. Another way to actually get prepared for business guys. Is actually doing a lot of puff rooms as well. So if you guys got ticket planters or any planter that has puff rooms. Get a bunch of your friends guys. And you guys can do some puff rooms. And yeah puff rooms help a lot with, with waxes and stuff. Where you can later on use it to get end game tool. So yeah. If you guys haven't defeated Commander Chick 50 times, guys, make sure you guys do so. I actually need to do that. I don't know why I didn't do it, but yeah, i just been a bit lazy, but yeah. Another way, guys, is actually claiming your wealth clock every hour. Very important you guys do this so you guys can get more and more tickets each hour. And then once you guys get more tickets, you know, of course, it'll help out in business. And yeah. And yeah guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I know a lot of you guys haven't watched it to end. But if you have, you're a real top G. Thank you guys so much. And bye guys!